these are the specs of an old battery bank I got very cheap for like uh, two dollars as you can see it charges at 5 volts 500 milliamps that means in four hours it fu it's fully charged and it outputs 5 volts 1 amp through the USB port or I can wire something anything really to the 3.7 volt battery and uh, it will be able to output much more power potentially ruining the life a bit but uh, it seemed to be worth it in some cases for a two dollar power bank okay so this is a well mostly an electric drill but uh, it's it's configured as a screwdriver you ha you need an adapter to put in drill bits so this had uh, four of these small rechargeable batteries and they went bad and the owner uh, gutted it took out the batteries threw it away and gave me the drill without any electronics just the switch which can switch the motor backwards and forwards and the motor so this is the lithium-ion battery from the power bank and I'm gonna wire this up to the motor which is let me show you 4.8 volts but with a 3.7 volt battery it should go fine so let's get started oh yeah right now I'm going to wire up just the battery but I also have this extracted from the power bank this is a small charger and I put some hot glue on it to protect it and this will be also put inside the drill something like this so it can be charged it will stick out of the casing and it can also serve as a power bank in case of emergency through this big USB port so let's get wiring take off this old wires from the motor yes these were cut from the switch so I'll just remove them one by one and put in new wires like that oops battery down doesn't matter okay we lost some solder here I don't know why but we'll put some fresh solder let's see if Oh, it doesn't want to stick to the logic board, the circuit board. I don't know why, but if I put the wire there, it should stick. So, this switch goes right here, and you can pull it like that. 
that it basically reverses the polarities for the motor in this position it doesn't uh, connect any current to the motor both uh, contacts are disabled I mean inactive how do you say it one way the other way so I have some red wire here connect this to the motor and the center of the switch yes let's try that uh, bad pad what what's happening here oh I cut off the wire what this is a new blade that's the problem with less force maybe okay <laughs> that's embarrassing let's try that again focus mm, maybe this wire is kind of weird I don't know where I got it so let's see this stupid leg of the switch why doesn't it hold solder not heating up properly or something what this is bad this is really bad oh boy it doesn't want to okay just don't tell anyone I did that this is a really poor job Oh boy so this wire needs to go up like that to the positive let's cut it solder it to the positive side which is the top one hey like that okay Connect the negative. About the same length. No, it's just from here. Okay. Not good. 
oh boy fresh soda i need fresh maybe so let's see the switch like that wait what just talk to the soldering iron ah, okay here Okay, slightly better. And the other end. <clears throat> right here. The negative. And in theory. As you can see, the trace goes to the other side, and this one too, like that. So I only have to connect the battery to one, to two of these. The other side doesn't matter. I don't know why they made it. They had something connected right here. I don't know why. I didn't see the original uh, wiring. So let's see. So safety first, this may turn out badly, I may short out the battery in the worst case, oh well. So this will stay like that, and the battery will be right here. So I'm Time is running out on the video, I think. One more minute. Okay. Then I'll do an another video after this to continue fixing this thing. Thingamabob. Okay. So the negative will go from there to the bottom of the battery yes and the video is stopping now 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 13 minutes still going usually it stops at 13 <laughs>